Hi, I'm Benjamin Guggenheim. This is my story. I was born in New York in 1865, to Swiss parents Meyer and Barbara Guggenheim. My father Meyer was a renowned and wealthy copper mining mogul. I was the fifth of seven brothers, and went on to work for my father's smelting company. I married Florette J. Seligman in 1894. Together, we had three daughters. Benita Rosalind Guggenheim, Marguerite Peggy Guggenheim and Barbara Hazel Guggenheim. My daughter Peggy grew up to become a famed art collector and socialite. But despite being married with children, I was renowned for living a traveling, bachelor's lifestyle. Myself and Florette ultimately grew apart as my lucrative business endeavors took me around the world. So, upon the departure of the RMS Titanic, I was accompanied not by my wife, but my mistress. My mistress, a singer from France called Leontine Aubert. Joining me on Titanic were my valet Giglio, Leontine's maid Emma Say Jesser and our chauffeur, René Pemot. On April 10, 1912, we boarded the Titanic in Cherbourg, on the north coast of France. From Cherbourg, the Titanic made its way to Queenstown in Ireland, now known as Cove. Queenstown was supposed to be just the last European stop on the Titanic's maiden voyage. Unfortunately it turned out to be the last port the Titanic would ever call at. Titanic was such a beautiful ship, one of the finest I ever had seen. My room on board Titanic was exceptional, cabin B-82 was luxurious and comfortable. Titanic's maiden voyage was going very well, with fine weather, however it was cold. On Sunday April 14, 1912, at 11.40 pm, Titanic collided with an iceberg. I had no recollection of the impact as I had slept through the whole collision. I was only made aware of what had happened when I was awoken by Leontine and Emma shortly after. I was put into a lifebelt and a sweater by one of the ship's stewards, Henry Samuel Etches. Our group except for our chauffeur Pemot, ascended from our cabins to the boat deck. There, Leontine and Emma were granted room on lifeboat number 9 as women and children were prioritized. As we bade farewell, I said to Emma, we will soon see each other again. It's just a repair. Tomorrow the Titanic will go on again. It became clear to me that the Titanic was really sinking. I along with my valet Giglio went back to our cabins, where we dressed in our finest evening wear. I assisted women and children to the lifeboats and met Stuart Edges. I said to him that we've dressed up in our best and are prepared to go down like gentlemen. I also said to him if anything should happen to me, tell my wife I've done my best in doing my duty. Sadly I along with my valet Giglio were lost in the sinking. Myself and Giglio remain two of the most widely known victims of the Titanic. It has been a privilege speaking to you, thank you, Benjamin.